We might still remember the iPhone 15 series, but people are already talking about the iPhone 16. Apple made some cool changes to the 2023 lineup. They added Type-C, switched the mute button for an action button, and used titanium for the bodies instead of stainless steel. Also, the non-pro iPhones now have the dynamic island, while the Pro Max model got a periscope camera. Usually, what's only in the Pro iPhones might come to the non-pro ones next year. Apple likes bringing new stuff to its devices. With the leaks we've heard, let's see what the iPhone 16 lineup might have for us. Apple changed a lot in the iPhone 15 series, and we think these changes will keep going with the iPhone 16. The new action button from the latest edition might be in the regular iPhone 16 models next year. Apple likes to bring pro stuff to its regular iPhones, like they did with the Dynamic Island in the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus. If you like the mute switch, get ready because it might go away once the iPhone 16 lineup comes out. And if one new button wasn't enough, there might be another one called the capture button in the iPhone 16 series. It could be on the right side of the phone and used for recording videos. Reports say this new button will be sensitive to pressure and touch. So, you can focus with a light press and take pictures or start recording with a harder press. Also, you might be able to swipe left or right on the button to zoom in or out. In total, the upcoming iPhone 16 series might have five buttons, the power button, two volume buttons, the action button, and the new capture button. They are testing these buttons on all four models of the iPhone 16 series. But, there's also talk that Apple might get rid of physical buttons altogether and use solid-state buttons in the iPhone 16 Pro models next year. This feature was supposed to be in the iPhone 15 series at first, but they had to delay it because making it was too hard. Recently, Mac rumors showed pictures of three early iPhone 16 ideas. The first one, in yellow, looked like the iPhone 10 with a camera pill and one volume button that vibrates when you touch it. The second one, in pink, had cameras lined up vertically but with separate volume buttons. The last one, in midnight black, also had cameras lined up vertically separate volume buttons, and a bigger action button along with a new capture button. What's interesting is that all three ideas had an action button, which might mean they are getting rid of the mute switch in the future. The iPhones coming out in 2024 might be bigger than before. Apple wants to make the iPhone 16 Pro models a bit larger. The new screens could be 6.2 inches and 6.8 inches for the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max, which would make them the biggest screens ever on an iPhone. There's also talk that the top model might be called Ultra and have a a huge 6.9 inch display. The smaller iPhone 16 Pro might have a 6.3 inch OLED screen. Reports from Mac rumors also say the screens will be bigger, and the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max might have a capacitive capture button. It looks like the overheating problems with the iPhone 15 Pro are making Apple rethink things for the iPhone 16. They are working on a thermal system based on graphene to help the phone stay cooler. For the regular iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus, they might keep the same screen sizes. A display expert named Ross Young thinks that only the regular iPhones in 2025 will have screens that refresh quickly. So, the cheaper iPhones next year might still have screens that refresh at 60Hz. Another possible change is that the dynamic island might get smaller. In January 2023, the L reported that the iPhone 16 Pro models might have Face ID hidden under the display. There's a lot of talk about the cameras on the iPhone 16. Apple introduced a new Tetra Prism zoom lens on the iPhone 15 Pro Max this year. It's supposed to work like a 120mm full-frame camera lens. According to Apple analyst Ming Kai Kui, the Tetra Prism telephoto cameras won't just be on the top iPhone model next year. Both the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max are expected to have them. Digital Chat Station suggests that the iPhone 16 Pro might have a 5x zoom camera, not just the Pro Max model. It might also have a 48 megapixel primary camera sensor. In addition, the iPhone 16 Pro Max might have a periscope ultra telephoto camera. It could be better than competitors like the Pixel 7 Pro and Galaxy. S23 Ultra in how far it can zoom. Analyst Jeff Pugh thinks Apple will put a 48 megapixel ultra wide shooter in both the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Maximum. Ming Kai Kui explains more, saying the rear ultra wide camera on the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max could have a 48 megapixel sensor that's half an inch big with 0.7 micrometer pixel size and 6P lens assembly. This would make the output 12 megapixels with 1.4 micrometer effective pixel size through pixel binning. This possible upgrade would make the resolution much better than the current 12 megapixel pixel ultra-wide sensor in existing iPhone models. The iPhone 16 series is full of mysteries when it comes to specs, but one thing we can be sure of
Microsoft is the yearly processor upgrade. Rumors say the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus might have the 17 Pro chip, while the iPhone 16 Pro lineup could get a new 18 series chip from Apple. However, analyst Jeff Poo thinks differently. He says all four new iPhone 16 series phones will have the 18 series chips made by TSMC using a second generation 3 nanometer process. There might still be a difference between the processors in the regular and Pro models of the iPhone 16 series. According to Poo, the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus will have the 18 chip, while the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max will come with the 18 Pro chip. Regarding storage options, they might stay the same as the iPhone 15 series. However, there could be changes in IAM. Who suggests that the base iPhone 16 might come with 8GB of IAM, which is an upgrade from the base iPhone 15 6GB they are likely to keep the same for the iPhone 16 Pro models. Even though many things might stay similar, there are still plenty of upgrades with the new hardware. They'll have better and brighter displays, along with new battery thermal technology, which should make the experience better. But because it's so similar to its predecessor, it probably won't make people with an iPhone 15 rush for an upgrade. For anyone with an older iPhone or thinking about getting their first iPhone, the iPhone 16 series could be a great choice. As we get closer to the launch, more information will come in, and I'll share it as soon as I can. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out in the future. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and keep smiling.